Uh, and can I say that musicals for the for the uh, for the screen are horrendous always? Ugh. There's a uh, West Side Story stunk. You I watched like, uh, it. Just a bad bad when you're a jet. Yeah, no. It's, it's awful. It's terrible. You didn't like West no. Side Story for the screen? No, with the stupid knives. Jerk offs. But it's a musical. It's not supposed to be. Hey, there it is. It's right? Horrendous. They're they're fighting and dancing at the same time. That was a little weird. You watched the whole thing? Though? No, I've seen moments and I, I oh, couldn't okay. sit through it. I've watched the whole thing of West Side Story. I thought it was uh, kind of kind of nice. You know, you take it for what it is. It's a musical. You're not you're not expecting a an action movie like that. It's dated. It's you know an old movie. Was that the pre-show for the Tonys? Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, they warned. And you only us watched with, uh, five minutes of the Tonys because you were too that, tired because you just sat watched, through the whole West Side Story. Watched that, and then I watched La Cage. <laughs> when you reject, you reject. Oh, God no. Mighty. You didn't like that? It, no, I I I lo- It hurts me. Mario. Oh, yeah, that dumb song. You know, it's a, it's classic uh, Romeo and Juliet, put to modern modern times Bunch back then. crap. I tried to watch, uh, what's the one with Don't Cry From Your Argentina? Because I love the song. So oh, like, Vita. Uh, Vita. Vita. Atrocious. Yeah. I hate with when they Antonio sing that guy. Antonio Just, why? Yeah. And Madonna, right? Oh, yeah, well, Harry, she can sing at least. Yeah. But, I mean, why are you singing? No one talks like that. No, but that's the thing of a musical. You you sing all the lines. It's uh, stupid. Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> shut up. I think I need to find a toilet. Yeah, it's never realistic dialogue. Why can't Opie sing in a musical? I haven't shit in three days. <laughs> My colon feels like cement. Like cement. <laughs> Where, where's the milk? I need some milk today. Put on a pair of panties after she tinkles in them. It's always. <laughs> I had a dream that Washington fixed the telephones. It's <laughs> never realistic dialogue, ever. I will give out Straley's email address. <laughs> Don't cry because Ben has such a big hog. He won't use it to wreck your colon. <laughs> I noticed that there's a Ben hog joke every day on the show now. Of course there is. Every it has day. to be. It just makes me giggle. I saw, uh, what was that one? Um, Les Mis. I uh, saw Les Mis. And that's one of those where they sing every line. Come I on. never saw that. I like a little dialogue. I think uh, Miss Saigon was another one, just singing uh. of the dialogue. Um, Aida was talking and singing, so that was kind of, you know, wasn't all that bad. How many of these have you seen? I've seen many. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's why I had to watch the Tonys. I've seen... He had to compare his scorecard with the actual winners. <laughs> Jesus. I've seen a few Broadway shows. Dude, I've sir. seen a couple of minutes of West Side Story... And the only one I've ever seen was, was, was half of uh, Evita, which was unwatchably awful. Yeah. Chicago, I refused to watch. I'm talking about actually seeing them on Broadway, not not seeing the movie. That's even worse. You have to plan yeah. it. If you stumble onto it by accident, and you're like, ah, maybe there's a scene I could scrap to in here, that's yeah. almost understandable. But when you actually have to go, all right, hold on, let me just fix my tie, and then leave the house <laughs> to go watch a bunch of people who will be going to be dead in five years dancing anyway. <laughs> It just stinks. <laughs> you know, it was uh, great and probably the best uh, oh, no. best musical of all time, Jesus Christ Superstar. Never saw it. Never saw it? No. The movie stunk because they tried to do some artsy-fartsy stuff with it, but the uh, the Broadway show, might I say, fabulous. Are we talking about Broadway shows? Well, uh, yeah. You know, maybe Screw we can Broadway invite, and maybe bring on the broad. Maybe there's somebody here at yeah. XM that we can invite in and uh, help us. Uh, Six foot eight with white hair. Maybe he can bumble in and spoil we everything. Come in and spin some phone dials so it sounds <laughs> like we're uh, underwater again. Ah. All I, I hear is Ben's hog in this. What is you know, this? It's the opening, uh, you know, ovation. For what? Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, it's the oh. orchestra getting uh, getting ready. But but the, uh, gr- what, what what's singing in this? Oh, what do we got? Is this the opening, uh, the whole... Go to a song where, um, isn't Ian Gillen on this album? 
Is he from uh, Deep Purple? Yeah. Oh, he also sang with Sabbath. Dude, the guy's 83. voice is yeah, ridiculous. He's, oh, he's, a, he's an amazing vocalist. Yeah, find an Ian Gillen song. Sure. Eric's dad used to produce Jesus Christ Superstar mm-hmm. for what? Local theater? No, Broadway. For his, really? For his church group? Uh, back in the early 70s. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep. Eric's rich. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. We all Is he know a rich that. kid? No, but I'm not going to throw strawberries at Eric because he works hard. He does work very hard. And he doesn't and dress like And he's trying to make a, a name for himself, and yes. I respect that in anybody. And the name is called Sweater with Arms Too Short. <laughs> Who cares that he takes a limo to, to, to work even though he's the little man on the totem pole? You found right. an Ian Gillen song? Which one is this? Does he um, does he play pinball later on in the musical? <laughs> pinball wizard. And then there's like Anne Margaret is like uh, rolling around in baked beans or something. Did you see Tommy on Broadway? Not Why on would Broadway. you? I saw that. The rock opera. Then, uh, it was very good on Broadway. What what show haven't you seen, Anthony? <laughs> How about we just go there? Be... Now, now to protect any heterosexuality I have left, I have not seen Mamma Mia. The ABBA musical. These are the other musicals your dad... Ah, Steve's no, no, no. raising his hand. Steve saw Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at you, and I've seen them all. You know why? Because Steve is so dumb, he thought it was a Vietnam thing. He thought Mama was missing in action. <laughs> <laughs> Mama MIA, this is great. <laughs> AIDS uh, effer writes, musicals make me hate humanity. I saw Le Le Miz. Really? Which is just like, uh, oh boy, a period piece, and then they're just, oh God, I don't get singing it. the whole thing. The whole thing is just like singing. I saw Phantom. Wow. Oh, oh. Phantom of the Opera. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. If it's not Lon Chaney dun, 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 dun. making that bald face, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's if, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> if it ain't him, I, I think I saw yeah. Robert England's um, Phantom Ooh. of the Opera, mm-hmm. and it was it was the dumbest thing I was. If it ain't Lon Chaney making that scary yeah. goofy face, I don't want to see. I don't movies. I'm I'm a big movie guy. Yeah, but live entertainment, I don't. I just don't get it. Ain't uh, ain't cutting it for you. Oh no, man, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I guess that's a, you got to be a certain mode. You never get a good seat. You got to stand the whole time. <laughs> I saw the Little Mermaid on Broadway. How are you seeing all these? What's going on here? I had to. Every time I I've said I've been to Broadway, it's been because I've been dragged there. By some broad. Yeah, let me think about it. Did me. I ever go to Broadway? Some bro- That's broad. why they call it Broadway. That's why they call Holy it Jesus. Broadway. Wow, what a revelation. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's Broadway because some stupid broad drags all the guys to these stupid shows. You make a good point. I'm, I'm going to an off bitch avenue show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> C, C word way. <laughs> I'm, sitting, I'm sitting here thinking. Oh, did I give ever. My Ray God's too. Way, remember me in Herald Square. Give my regards to <laughs> Way. In. You know, you make a good point because I'm sitting here thinking, did I ever like search out anything on Broadway and go because I wanted to see something? Yeah, it was, it was always a broad ex girlfriend. Yep, a mother, a sister dragging you to something. Worst thing was there, I was ever Was there one show went you to. went to on your own saying, no, I really want to see this? No. Not one. Worst one with I was it. ever dragged to was with my ex-mother-in-law, Judy. Judy is now dead, but she I was here. Which means Lon and Wally. Have Lon and left. Wally up in Boston. Uh, but no, it was down here in New York. They, they had come to visit. Ani Mog was here, who's dead also. And uh, my ex-wife, uh, Jennifer. <laughs> and I got dragged to the Radio City Christmas show. Oh! Dude, oh. dude, dude, dude. Dun, 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 oh, look. Oh, look, they're just like wooden soldiers, and they fall in a line. Oh, oh look at that. They were now actually- they're doing the kick line. Here it is, the big kick line. sit through a can-can. Dude, it was the and then the the live nativity with all the animals they bring out. Look, a camel's on stage. Exactly what there's a camel on the stage. If you go to that show, you should be forced to have oh. something in your can. And then they're saying all the Christmas songs and the friggin'. I sat there. It, I was. It, it was torture. It was torture to sit there. Oh God. The place is gigantic. 
I'm in the middle somewhere. I didn't even care that I couldn't see, but I couldn't see, you know. It was it, it just another thing I was dragged to. I've been dragged I won't do to everything. It. I won't do it no more. My girl, we had a relationship crisis because I won't go see Wicked with her. I saw Wicked. And she keeps explaining to you me. You saw Wicked? I've it's seen that. every god every show <laughs> on Broadway. It's the Wizard of Oz, but it's from the evil witch's point of yeah. view. She, uh, shut up! Let me ruin the ending. She's friends with the good witch, and they planned the whole thing so the Wicked Witch could run off with the uh, I'll see the guy. movie. Ew. Interesting rated R, and it better not be PG-13, Wicked. Oh. It better be rated R. It's Wicked. really the bad witch ends up being really the good witch. It was all a trick. Yeah, yeah, it was a trick. The monkeys were No really... one died. No one died. <laughs> there was no <laughs> Wicked Witch. The Wicked Witch was, uh, was good. The Wicked Witch was good. <laughs> but what the f I won't but go. It's wicked. No. You see? Tricked you. Ah. Just like I was tricked ah. into going. <laughs> it's a play, <laughs> wicked, <laughs> yeah. wicked. It just—that's every girl in the audience. And you went wicked. to see Wicked. I saw Wicked. Oh, and the Philly crew and the Long Island crew got together to go to Wicked. It wasn't even in the thought process to ask us guys. It was. It was. No, it was, you're just going. It was for the girls. You're going. Uh, I I've been to so many, and like you said, yeah, every one of them I've been dragged to. Is that going to happen again with me? Nope. I has learned. it been one? Tell the truth. Has it been one you were close to liking, but you just your man is wouldn't let you fully like it? I I liked Young Frankenstein. I really did. I I, I saw it because they were advertisers, and I I definitely liked it. I saw, I saw the Wedding Singer uh, with Stephen Lynch, and I liked that too because it's oh, it's no, just because Stephen was in it. Yeah. I never would have seen that if Stephen Lynch oh, wasn't in it. Absolutely not. You're right. Did I you wouldn't enjoy have cared. It? You're right. Uh, I, I, no, I, I have to be biased. It? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I'm biased because I like Steven, and Steven did uh -huh. a good job in it. But the play itself is Let's sucked. take Steven out of the equation. Sucked. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would never see that guard. I saw Rocky Horror. Uh, Rocky Horror with, uh, what's his name from Skid Row? Tim Curry. Was in it? No, that's the Sebastian Bach. Oh, he was in the other one. Uh, yeah, he was in that, too. Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. I was dragged to that one back in the day. Sebastian Bach's got a great voice. So, like, to hear him sing was cool, but... Like, I, I don't want to sit for that. I went to Cats like three times with three different bitches. Girl way. Mm -hmm. Enough. Broad, broad way. Cats, I thought. Cats clothes. Let me tell you this white trash friggin' Long Island piece of crap weekend I had years ago. It was me <laughs> and the ex-wife, and we were going to the big city. We were leaving the the constraints of the island and going to the big city to go see cats. We're going to Broadway, <laughs> and 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 people on Broadway never considered that a Broadway show. It made umpteen billion what, dollars. Cats? It lasted for years and years because every Asian tourist and businessman packed that audience this is for years. Cats, and then it just petered out and and it became this. Uh, like n nostalgic thing. It was like some heavy metal kind of uh, thing for the eighties. What was the big song from Cats? There's oh, a couple of them, but the, there was the it's memories it is, right? of the It didn't make sense. The whole thing didn't make sense. And one thing I love. Here's what I love. Everybody's catty. When you're sitting in the audience and the play comes out and interacts with you. Oh, do I love that attention. When you, got, uh, you get cat doodles right on your lap row and the cat comes out and starts pawing at you. I want to kick him. Sprays on your seat. Oh, jeez, is that high? Dude, I was at a show and they wanted me to do the audience participation. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Now the guys. Oh God! Da, 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 da. So my wife trash weekend uh -huh. consisted of, like I'm taking the the wife out. We're going to see Cats on Broadway. She borrows a fur coat to make herself, uh -huh. to make to make it look like we're we're you know 
rolling in the dough. Yeah, well, what, what did uh, Alice tell Ralph when they were looking for a maid? Oh. Yeah, we're big shots. <laughs> yeah. You know what? what? You're, you're a scene, and you, you, your past life was a scene from Silence of the Lambs. You know, you know Anthony with your cheap shoes and yeah, your good yeah. bag. You're, yeah. just, you're just your one cheap generation. Shoes. That's why no one should be mad yeah, at what Anthony's... Your borrowed fur coat and your cheap shoes. That's why no one should be mad at what Anthony's doing with his life right now because because he's lived a uh, horrific horrific life in the I had, past i had i put on some horrid uh, ill-fitting suit mm -hmm. that i had had since like my communion i think uh it, with i believe a bugs bunny tie <laughs> dude it was awful i i rented a limo uh and we were going into the city hey Dinner first at the Russian Tea Room was part of the package. <laughs> well, you got it. And, and it's a package deal, so you don't go in and order something. They just give you. It's like, oh, here come the, the schlep trash from Long Island. We give them, you know, this food. Deviled eggs. Yeah. Just <laughs> horrid Chicken stuff. And bone marrow <laughs> and rice. Yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> just like this garbage. Don't forget the beets. Just <laughs> beets, chicken bone marrow, right. and a slice of, of, of yeah. cheesecake. Yeah, yes. With fake cherries on top. And then they of it. usher you out. Because you're going to be late for the show, you know. So back into the limo, and then we pull in front of the Winter Garden Theater. And uh, and I'm like, I'm thinking, all right, I'm getting out of a limo in front of the Winter Garden. This people going to think I'm somebody. No, they're not. You're just another Long Island douche. Oh, so I, I just get out, and, and we go in and see this god-awful play and think, we're we're high rollers. Yeah, I thought like that night was like. Wait a minute, but you I'm were doing. into this though. You were into this night. Yeah, that for me that was my high roll. I told my family it's like, hey, guess what we're doing? He didn't know any. Take better. taking a limo into uh, the city to go see cats. Borrowing the fur coat though. She borrowed a fur coat, and I was uh. just like in this bad. The, the suit was awful. Didn't fit me. Mm. It was horrid. Someone is asking about Circus Soleil. Well, now that's that. That's not really considered Broadway. That's, no, that's no. different. I've seen a couple of those in uh, <laughs> Vegas. Those those things are effing amazing. Yeah, they're doing something. They're amazing. Yeah, they bend up and, and yeah, yeah, that's different. That's, and, it's not some silly. Some pool, Chinese you know. girl is spinning plates on her face. That's I mean, that's entertainment. All right, where would you put place a Blue Man Group in that? I saw uh, Blue Man. Group. So did I. Yuck. What's <laughs> with the pipes? It was pipes. So they're playing PVC. How much longer? All right, we get it. You got a blue face and you're tapping on some PVC. Oh, look, they're rolling out toilet paper. Here it goes. And wow. it falls from the ceiling. Oh, oh the big finale. Oh. You go, how are they going to pull? Like, after the first five minutes, you go, how are they going to pull? You're, you're, you're curious to know how they're going to pull it off. Yeah. Pull off this thing for another hour and ten minutes. You know how they do it? The first song is about hypnotizing, and then you're, you don't, you know, you're there hypnotizing it is. the audience. This is supposed to just hypnotize you. He's playing a PVC pipe. He's playing plumbing uh, that slides in and out of each other. Right. So it makes different tone when he hits on it. And I'm sitting there going, okay. For, for the first two seconds, you're kind of like, wow, that's cool. He's playing PVC. And then again, you're just sitting going, how long is this going to go on? How long? How about the trash can lids, people? Yeah, oh, oh stomp? Yeah, that's or, no, the other one. Was it stomp? Yeah. Yeah, look, they're playing trash cans and spackle buckets. I could see this in Times Square. <laughs> I can see this while I'm waiting. nothing. I can see this while I'm waiting for the seat train. Why, yeah. Why do I have to pay $100? No for interest in I'm so I just... Yeah. Nothing, right? There's people no that probably see this, though, and they're probably angry yeah. because it's like... I guess if, if somebody like... I don't... It's somebody who didn't see The Godfather and goes, I don't get it. You just go, yeah, what? What, what are you... What's wrong with you? Crazy. How many times have you just uh, said, can we eat now? Yeah, can we go... <laughs> Just it's over now. Can we, Can we eat? Go eat? I love it. Yeah. Intermission. I'm like, all right, we're at the halfway point. Jesus. I leave every intermission. Do you? I've ever been to. I'm out. I drink. Out I get it. up. Get that twenty dollar friggin' shot of a drink. All right.
Bastards. I can't even tell you what me and my girl did at Avenue Q next to these two white people. Uh oh. Up, uh, just, just hiked to dress up a little and just. <laughs> <laughs> I reached behind and uh, we. She just sat there <laughs> for the whole for about a good ten minutes at Avenue Q. Nice. <laughs> you you were driving up Avenue V. <laughs> you were having your own puppy nice. show. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty God puppet bless Patrice. This. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got.